Hi there. Welcome to our little podcast. Why are we doing this? Because we have too much time on our hands. Hey. And that's on being a, a pandemic. My name is Aurora. My name is B. And we're a mess. And um, that's it. Thanks for listening. Um, Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> um, end of podcast. That's it. So this is a podcast called We're Trying because... At the end of the day, isn't that what we're all doing? Basically, what we're going to talk about is pop culture and just some of our favorite things. Our friends are going to be guests on some episodes to talk about their favorite things, which we're very excited for. We are getting some of those lined up very soon, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Finger guns. So we thought we'd take this first episode to introduce ourselves Make sure you know who you're getting into here. Well, you know our names now, and that's that's really all you need. 200 not boring questions. We're not going to go through all of these. <laughs> good, good. It's, uh, we're not really strangers all over again. Oh, man. That, that, we don't, we're not even in like, we're not even f- done. in section two or phase two, whatever yeah. it is. We're just because we were doing every single question. We thought it would be smart to do every single question. You're not supposed to. I, I don't think you're supposed to do every single question. And there were four of us there playing. four of us. <laughs> it was like five hours of phase one. And by the end of it, we were all emotionally exhausted. Yeah. So can't blame us for not continuing. Hey. <laughs> all right. So uh, <laughs> the website I have pulled up is womenshealthmag.com. Good. Question one, what is your favorite way to spend a day off? You know, I was expecting, what's your favorite color? What's your job? What's your favorite way to spend a day off? Oh, I actually can answer this one. I was sitting here going, no, I can't. Um, Watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel and Mad Men again with a cup of tea, which is what I've been doing for the past, like, four days. So um, that's me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> end of podcast goodbye everyone Say goodbye uh i like to spend my day well recently i have been having a lot of days off because a lot basically part of my job is uh content creating and so i'm always creating content and you know seeing what kind of content i can make checking analytics and stuff um but just something i like to do to relax is bullet journaling um, I am making a bullet journal for a friend of ours, AJ, and whenever I'm really stressed, I will just sit down and bullet journal, and sometimes my possibly undiagnosed ADHD will make me hyperfixate on it for, I don't know, six hours, and then I look up and I'm like, oh no, mm-hmm. I've been sitting for six hours. <laughs> Gotta get up and stretch. <laughs> yeah, just you know, maybe go to the bathroom, maybe eat something, maybe like not stare at a a book with tiny dots in it for six hours straight. Yeah, you know, on the topic of what you do for a job, should we talk about what we do for jobs? Ooh, yeah, you go first. Okay, so I do a lot of stuff. The thing that pays the bills right now, I work for an immersive art escape room. Um, I'm like a host of the game, so I go into the game and like help people through the room. I also write a blog for them, which I need to write a post for after this podcast. Um, And on top of that, I produce and create with my own production company called The Flare. And I'm a writer. I write uh, TV scripts that have never been produced and who knows if they ever will be. I write musicals and plays and um anything that'll make me cry um and that's is that all I do I think that's all I do I think that's it right now right now right now Change. who knows what will there'll probably be more probably. very soon who knows yeah so what I do for work um I recently got hired at Starbucks Woo-hoo. uh I don't start until the 12th though and the day that we're filming this is March 29th so whoops haven't started yet. Um, I also run a small business. 
Lavender Gemini shop. Check it out on Instagram. Support me. I'm broke. <laughs> I have to burp a little bit. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> that stays in. No. <laughs> Damn it. That's what I get for eating gluten. Don't do that. It's so good. Um, <laughs> what else do I do for, for, oh, the Flare Productions Company. I work for them. I am the mental health and LGBTQ representative. And I also am an influencer. You are. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess. Uh, I kind of blew up on TikTok and I make a little bit of income from that. But in Canada, we can't join the creator fund. So I don't make a lot. <laughs> I don't understand why Canadians can't join the creator fund. I don't understand. It's because they hate us. You know what? That's true. That's true. They're like Canadians, healthcare. you get free health care. You don't you don't yeah. deserve you to make money. Care. You should have a savings account. You don't have to pay for health care. That is a myth. We do have to pay for health care. It comes out of our taxes. Yes. There but like go. I'm fine with paying a little bit of yeah. taxes if like a kid in BC can get open heart surgery and exactly. not have to go into debt for it, you know? Exactly. Exactly. We're getting off topic. <laughs> Didn't it's already happened. <laughs> it's already happened. Um, okay, back to the question. <laughs> what was the last thing you read? Like book or like just in general? I think just in general. <laughs> TikTok comments. No. Um, okay, maybe not TikTok comments. <laughs> um, I think the last thing I genuinely read was I'm part of a writing collective right now. And um, part of what we do is at the end of every single week, we go in and we read up to 10 pages of other people's work and give them feedback. So I think the last thing I read was something for that, which would have been two days ago. Wow, I need to read more. Last thing I read, um, TikTok comments. I'm kidding. Um, I read a lot of them because for my job, um, I guess you could say like an I read emails. I have a couple business emails coming in, so I had to do that stuff. But like book, um, last night I finished reading The Psychic Witch by Matt Aron. I love that book. It's a very good book for beginners. Starting witchcraft. Love it. Highly recommend. Will plug, not sponsored. Wish it was. I, I am currently reading a book. I want to make this clear. I do read <laughs> books. I am currently reading The Nest why i don't know somebody um, bought me a book off my amazon wish list so i think i'm gonna start reading that next what do you know what book uh what's it called uh herbs for witchcraft oh yeah you posted a that you yeah yeah i posted a video yesterday i believe That's the word. yeah it was yesterday of us opening it this dress is actually from uh them as well it's very pretty very cute i'm not gonna stand up because i am currently cuddled in a blanket my room is freezing you know what? that's <laughs> that's fair that's super fair which is your favorite meal breakfast lunch or dinner breakfast period done breakfast moving on Breakfast is my favorite meal but unfortunately I rarely ever like eat an actual breakfast I usually just wake up in the morning and start snacking that's fair that's fair I get that so like I eat in the morning but like I'll have coffee and then just a bunch of snacks that's super fair. I love food <laughs> I love food so much. I love food. I can't eat so much of it, but I love it. I like <sighs> looking at it. It's fine. Me, who's <laughs> like, I think I have a gluten intolerance, still eats bread, still eats pasta. I, for the longest time, when I like first stopped eating gluten because of gluten sensitivity, I was like, never going to touch it, never. And then I got really lenient with it and one time I ordered pizza and they sent me a full gluten pizza instead of a gluten-free pizza and I was like it's fine I've been lenient with it I'm sure I can do it I couldn't walk the next day so let this be a lesson uh let me just quick write that down don't <laughs> eat whole I mean I don't really eat pizza as it is because I yeah. eat plant-based so mm -hmm. I mean I, sometimes I want pizza but I would rather make my own pizza, honestly. 
Do you have a favorite type of exercise? It depends on the day. Little known fact about Aurora, I love working out. I started doing Pilates, that's where I began. And I do enjoy some Pilates, but then I was like, oh, you know what? I wanna be big and strong. <laughs> so now I uh, do combinations of hit and strength training and then the occasional Pilates here and there. Um, so yeah, it just kind of depends on how I'm feeling. What's my favorite? Because some days I look at my calendar and I go, you want me to lift a single pound? Absolutely not. Absolutely yeah, AJ not. made fun of me one time. Cause I was like, I could do one single push up, and they were like, you can do more. And I was like, I'm, I'm not kidding. I could do a single push up. Yeah. I'm not good at push ups. <laughs> I used to do weightlifting and then I had to stop exercising for health reasons. And I just have never gotten back into it. And I was like, ooh, maybe now that I have time because of the panorama, I will go in back to the gym and then all yeah. the gym's closed. <laughs> Work out with me. Let's do it. I mean, I also don't really have space in the place I am That's true. That's now. True. Once I move, I will have lots of space. So I'm excited for that. This one's gonna be a quick one, at least for me. What's the phone app you use the most? TikTok. <laughs> yes, it's my job. I, yeah, I think I'm Instagram. Really? I, it's funny because I will open up Instagram and then just like let the stories play and I won't necessarily be paying attention. I'll be like eating and the stories, like most people will just do that with TikTok. I will just let the stories on Instagram play. So I'm not consuming it. I just leave it there for like an hour. So if it's it like says you have I a saw friend your, with yeah. you. Yeah. If it ever, if you ever get like, when you're looking at like who's viewed your story, if it ever says I have, chances are I actually haven't. <laughs> See, this is how I watch Instagram stories. I look at the first few and I actually watch the first few because they're usually my friends. Mm -hmm. And then I just like. Yeah. Because I, I don't have time for it. I am, I just don't have time for it. And I, I don't like all of them being up there. So I just like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there are very few people that I'll actually like stop what I'm doing to watch the story of. And it's usually like my friends and then a couple of other people that I follow just because, I don't know, I'm kind of interested in what y'all have to say and the rest of the world. Nah, I'm good. But thanks. But thanks for the offer. Thanks for the offer, but no thanks. We'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one that I just saw. How do you take your coffee? Again, it depends on the day. What's your favorite way to have coffee? A latte. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like, I, I don't always go, mm, latte sounds good. Sometimes I go, latte sounds terrible right now. I have been very well known for drinking black coffee. I have been very well known. Yep. yep. You drink your coffee raw? Wait, what? <laughs> um, occasionally. Not so much anymore. Um, when That's I like a college you thing. Yeah. Yeah, and it was mostly out of necessity because the only, for a long time, the only place I ever got coffee in college was Tim Hortons, but like I didn't like just plain black coffee at the time, so I would get the iced coffee, but again, I'm lactose intolerant, so I'd have to get the iced coffee black, which is literally just coffee with a little bit of sweetener, but then often when I said black, they would assume that meant no sweetener either, so then I would just be drinking cold coffee, and because of my generation, I was too embarrassed to say, I'm sorry, can I please have this sweeter? So I would just drink it. So I got really, really used to just having black coffee. And I don't do that anymore because now <laughs> I'm kind of addicted to lattes, so. I have so many coffee recipes that I use. I, part of the reason why I'm excited to work at Starbucks. Um, yeah. I love coming up with different creations for like friends and like my roommates. I love just like making fancy little drinks super excited doing that but a way that I've been drinking my coffee recently is I use um stock cold brew the semi-sweet one that is the best cold brew you can't convince me otherwise um I will put a little bit of a dairy-free like chocolate sauce and I just oh, kind of yeah. mix that and make like a mocha ice and then I take like a little bit of oat milk and a little bit of um almond milk creamer and I will put sometimes I make a cinnamon dolce syrup that I'll like put in there and then you froth it, it up yeah I'll give you the recipe okay 
We'll, we'll do a whole episode on my favorite coffee recipes. We already um, have that planned. That's already Yeah, it's happening. actually already planned. Um, <laughs> I just foamed that with like a little handheld. Yes, we love a handheld. I forget what it's called. Frother. No, milk frother. frother. Oh my God. Um, I froth it and then I just put that on top and then I drink it with a glass straw. Yes. Hey, save the planet. Save the turtles. Save um, the planet. Drink Monster Energy. <laughs> Non-sponsor. <Non-sponsored. laughs> but please sponsor me. The Dragon Fruit Monster Energy is like amazing. Do you sleep with a top sheet? Yes or no? Yes. No. Wait, 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 wait. Like, uh, do wait, you know wait. what a top sheet is? Do you know what a top sheet is? Maybe not. <laughs> what is a top sheet to you? I thought you meant like covers. No, that's not what a top sheet is. I was like, what are you talking about? Okay, the top sheet, you know how you have like the mattress sheet, like the fitted yeah. sheet? Well, it's like a second sheet, the same thickness, but it's just flat. And then you put your comforter oh. on top of it. Do you sleep with one of those? Oh, yes, I do. That's Why? the sheet. That's the sheet, because I get really, really cold when I sleep. Okay, so, are we about I, to have an argument on our first podcast episode? Because okay. top sheets are terrible. Top sheets Why? are the worst thing. They get tangled around my feet. They just end up all bunched at the bottom of the bed anyways. And I just can't, I can't do it. I can't I, okay. do it. I get really, really cold when I sleep. So even if like I go to bed not with it, I end up waking up with it and like seven other blankets because I'm so cold, <laughs> especially in the winter. That is so weird to me. I have never heard of people not sleeping with one. I I used to sleep with one when I was a kid and I always hated it. And so when I moved out of my parents' house, I just have never used one. And then I'd move back in and my mom would be like, oh, here's like sheets for you. And I'd be like, absolutely not that one. No, no, I don't want it. I didn't realize this was such a uh, heavy topic. It is, it is. <laughs> It is, and I'm going to put a message in my Discord server, and I'm going to make a poll. Do you sleep with a top sheet, yes yeah. or no? If they don't, I'm going to be mad. I'm sure like, you will be one of the only people that sleep with a top sheet. I, I guarantee you, you will be one of very few people who sleep see, with a top sheet. Not sleeping with one makes me think of, like, a frat boy in college who has, like, crushed candle over his floor and, like, used condom wrappers, and you're like, who are you using that with? Because they were never in this room, you know? Like, there's probably a hole through the wall somewhere because they got mad one day. Like, it's that's what I think of. <laughs> yeah, I just, I hate top sheets. They get tangled around my feet and then I feel too claustrophobic. And then it's difficult for me to stick one leg out of the blanket because that's the best way to sleep. Again, I hear everybody saying that and I can't do that because my feet get too cold. <laughs> This is one of the very few ways that we are very different. Yeah. I've never had us fully disagree on something like this. No, and it's something so silly. I this love that, wild. like, our first actual disagreement on something is, like, <laughs> it's <laughs> now, it's going to be on the internet forever. <laughs> Thanks for watching the podcast, or listening to the podcast. See you next uh, week. This is the last podcast. This is the very last episode. <laughs> Ooh, um, who are you closest to and why? I mean, my boyfriend. Because I see him every single goddamn day. I don't know who I'm closest with. See, the thing with me is I I pull a John Mulaney. I take all my emotions and I bottle them up right here. And then one day I'll die. Yeah. I don't tell people a lot of uh, anything. And then randomly I'll just spew a bunch of information. And everyone's like, are you okay? (laughs) And the answer is no. The answer is I'm (laughs) chilling. Dear listeners, I love whenever I'm like, hey, my friend, are you okay? And Becca's response is always a Snapchat taken from, like, the bottom of their face. And it's just, <laughs> we vibing. That's literally it. <laughs> Every time literally it. Awesome. Cool. Great. Glad to, glad to know. Ooh. Ooh, these are... Some of these are getting oh. deep. Oh, Jagger. Oh, hello, dear dog. Show Jagger for the people who are Jagger, watching the video. Do you video. want to be on the podcast video cast? Come here. He's just staring at me. He's very confused. Come here. Anyways, guys, welcome back to my podcast. 
Jagger! <laughs> it's Jagger's podcast. Oh, Aurora, I cannot hear you. I think something might have gotten unplugged. Technical difficulties. Got unplugged. Ooh, we were back for a second there. Yes. Ooh. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Did that, I gotta plug stuff back in. I don't know what can you hear oh, me yes yes oh good so my whole uh mic contraction box i can't remember the actual name of it fell and i'm plugged <laughs> thank you jagger thank you jagger a round of applause we love uh my whole setup aurora has like the headphones and then like an actual like mic like a studio mic i'm just here with my cat ear headphones that a lovely follower katie got for me off uh, our Amazon wish list. It's a vibe. I feel terrible saying that all the time because I'm like, somebody bought me this. No, I think it's amazing. And I can't wait to see all the other amazing things that the people who appreciate the work you're doing give you. <laughs> also, Damn. hi, send me stuff off my Amazon wish list. <laughs> my Amazon wish list is full of books, particularly uh, drink making books. So, um, like mixology. I love mixology. Yeah. Me too. I've always wanted to get like really into mixology. Like my goal in life, and it's probably because of my fascination with the 50s and 60s, my goal in life is to have a fully stocked bar cart at all points in time. So I can always have a dinner party and everyone will always be happy. That's the goal. That's my plan once I'm out of this place because we get to furnish our whole house like on our own. And I'm I'm literally going to make a bar cart because I'm going to have the money to be able to buy different types of alcohol. Yes. I do do you to... believe in any conspiracy theories? Do I? I believe in the flat earth theory. Really? I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, hold on a second. That doesn't track. <laughs> that, um, that, that math doesn't check out. No, I, I don't, don't believe in that. I don't know necessarily how many conspiracy theories I believe. But I believe a lot of, well, I guess I believe a lot of like the true crime conspiracy theories. Like next um, week's podcast. Next week's podcast. I'm fascinated with like Jack the Ripper. Fascinated. <gasps> so and I'm, am I. Like the amount of conspiracy theories behind that. I would love to see, maybe I'll make this. I would love to see some sort of like mini series or something that tackles all the possible different conspiracy theories. So like every single episode is like, but what if this was it? You know, something like that. And maybe, I, maybe... I'm fascinated with like, this is going to sound weird, cults and like yeah stuff like that. Because that always, it's just like, how? Yeah. Uh, I also really like uh, talking about the Zodiac Killer because I know who the Zodiac Killer is. It's not Ted Cruz. It is Arthur Lee Allen. I will stand by that. I, I will stand by that until the day I die. It is and Arthur Lee Allen. One of my favorite parts of my job at the escape room is that I get to improv most of the show. And there's one part of the game where people get like this alphabet that's not like English. It's some like symbols and everything. And one game I was playing, I was like, oh, look at this. What could this mean? And somebody goes, excuse me, are you the Zodiac killer? <laughs> and I stopped in my tracks and I went, do I look like Ted Cruz? I... <laughs> You did not. You did, did not. <laughs> um, yeah. Do I look like Ted Cruz? <laughs> when making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, do you put the peanut butter or jelly first? I haven't made a peanut butter and jelly Oh, yeah. You can't butter. eat bread. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, next um, question. I'm assuming I would say peanut butter because I don't like jam. <laughs> yeah. Peanut butter goes first because peanut butter uh, is like thicker and, and yeah. if you were to put the jam first you can't put the peanut butter on top of it because like you can't spread it properly that makes sense and that is probably how i would do it wow i miss sandwiches <laughs> i mean you could get like gluten-free bread yeah. question mark but it's yeah. like seven dollars for a loaf but that is just not worth it yeah exactly i get it occasionally but i don't have a toaster so usually oh. if i'm <laughs> making yeah <laughs> so usually if i'm making anything with the bread um it's very chewy because gluten-free bread is very chewy so i don't use it very often what's your favorite drink uh one is your favorite alcoholic drink 
And then your favorite okay. non-alcoholic drink. Ooh, okay. Okay. My favorite, I'm going to start with non-alcoholic. My favorite non-alcoholic drink these days is probably, oh, I thought I had an answer. Now I'm second guessing it. Probably a chai latte. Mm -hmm. I do live for a good chai latte. My favorite alcoholic drink, again, changes depending on what I have in my house. But probably a good old fashioned gin and tonic. I was gonna say I, I knew it was gonna be a gin and tonic. I love gin. There's a gin um, at the LCBO that I really want to try, but for a bottle of it, it's like sixty bucks, and I just don't want to spend sixty dollars on a purple yeah. gin. We'll split it. We'll split it. Okay, I'm I'm driving to your place now. I'm gonna Let's live there for a week, and we're gonna <laughs> split on this bottle of gin. And that's all we will drink the whole time. Yeah, no, we're just going to day drink. <laughs> you know, I would. You do mimosas. I like mimosas. I haven't had a mimosa since family friends of ours got married. We were getting ready for the wedding. And the morning of a wedding drink is a mimosa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, my favorite drinks. Uh, my favorite non-alcoholic drink. <laughs> I have a couple depending on how I'm feeling and depending on the time of day. In the morning, it's either like it's a nice coffee. Love that. Um, I'm not going to include water because like you should just drink water because water. I have not drank water today. It is 1.30 p.m. I woke up at 10. I woke up at 10. I do have <laughs> monster energy though instead of coffee um sponsor us please <laughs> sponsor us please um what else do I like to drink Ooh, if I need to like release anxiety uh, again shameful self-plug uh the anti-anxiety tea from my shop I love um it tastes very flowery like you can literally like it's sweet for some reason without having to add sugar Ooh, that's good which is surprising because usually I need to add like a tiny bit of sugar or mm -hmm. like agave. I don't eat honey. Um, you just like stir that in. But I don't really have to with this tea, which is nice. That is nice. Um, or like a tea latte of sorts, orange juice. I like me some orange juice. I did try um, the dragon fruit monster energy yesterday. It was so good. Yeah. So good. Isn't that what you said you had right now? No, this is the oh. uh, ginseng ultra rose one. Oh, gosh. it tastes like cotton candy to me, which I like the other one better. My favorite alcoholic drinks again changes depending on how I'm feeling. If I'm getting ready for a wedding, it's a mimosa. If I'm at a wedding, it's a vodka crayon. Yeah. If I'm going out to like a pub to eat tater tots and stuff it's either a jack and coke or cherry whiskey and coke um or if like i'm just sitting by myself and like day drinking or like anything um i've really gotten into cottage spring cottage springs vodka waters mm -hmm. because it's like a white claw without like the burn yeah of, yeah like the the seltzer which i like I should have been looking for another question. <laughs> My favorite, I think, canned alcoholic drink is the Founders Tequila Paloma. They're in like these Ooh. like pink cans. And every time I'm like, I am a classy lady. That's what I drink. Even though it's out of a can, that's what I drink. My phone keeps lighting up from TikTok notifications. I didn't expect me literally roasting the pandemic. To yeah, make me I, famous, but maybe that's what's about to happen. There's some like our the work group chat notifications. Um, I have some Instagram notifications and a lot of TikTok notifications. I just got a notification that a person who graduated in my first year at college followed me, and I'm like, How did you find me? How did you find me? How did you find me? TikTok is wild that way. Like the algorithm is wild. I know. Ooh, waffles or pancakes? Ooh, pancakes. Waffles. I like the, the, the crunch. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I'm not a fan of toppings. 
like I don't like maple syrup or like the strawberry compote I don't like any of those or like the whipped cream or anything what about a crepe do you like crepes I have only had two crepes in my life one was when I was like nine years old at my cousin's birthday party and the other one was in Paris so I don't really have a very good range of crepes to compare to um, but I guess I like crepes to as much of an extent as I can and my brother's old partner um, is French and she would make crepes often and they were so good. Yeah. Because you can make them like sweet or savory, which I yeah. love. Yeah, when I was in Paris, apparently I talk about my trip to Paris far too often, but when I was I, in Paris- I never knew you went to Paris. This really? is the first time I'm hearing of it. <laughs> well, I went to Paris. The long and the short of it is my grandmother, uh, her old vocal teacher went to Paris to teach English and ended up marrying a very wealthy shoe company air whatever and so we went and stayed with them (laughs) could you imagine no his name is Jacques something I can't remember his last name um we went and stayed with them in their one of their apartments I was like what's happening it was one of their apartments and they were like up two blocks from this crepe restaurant but they were it was both sweet and savory crepes so I got a savory crepe that had I didn't get a doll on it so it was like French, but also like Indian food. It was so cool and I really enjoyed it. And my grandmother was like, well, that's such a weird combo. And I was like, I don't know, I'm thriving out here. You're like, I don't care if you think it's weird. This is amazing. Honestly, I remember like, cause that was the, I went to Ireland right after I did Paris. Ow, I just punched my desk. You have, you have a great track record of punching things these days. Keep it in, keep the struggle. Yeah. Um, we, we did Paris and Ireland back to back. And I remember when we arrived in Ireland, I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's so much nicer here. But when I look back on like, I don't know, like aesthetic and everything, I felt like so alive in Paris. I was like, I could live here and dress however I wanted and like thrive with all of my like flamboyant energy and be so happy. And then in Ireland, I was like, I could just like drink my ass off and walk down the street and I would be happy. Wild. But like Paris That's all I've ever so, wanted like, in life. Right? Like, there's a picture of me walking down the street in Paris with a bottle of wine, very good wine, and a bag of grapes just walking down the street in Paris. I will see if I can find that picture and send it to you, but everything about that picture just screams, like, I'm in Paris for the first time and I never want to leave. I've never traveled outside of North America, so I'm just, like, that's the oh no, it's not the one travel outside of North America. I don't even have a passport. Mine had expired. <laughs> <laughs> but I, where can we travel to right now? Let's exactly, let's be exactly. honest. My family was all my family is such a family of travelers. Like every single year someone is going somewhere, doing something. I have been to Disney World like five times. I've just because my family loves to travel. So it's always like, well, I don't know where to travel. So I guess we're going to Disney World this year because where else are we going to go? So I love travel. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh, darn. I guess yeah, you get to go to Disney World. But it's I... so funny, too, is because everyone's like, oh, you've been to Disney World so many times. You must be so rich. And I'm like, we're really not. We're not. We're struggling over here, but we're going to Disney World anyway. <laughs> we're going to Disney World anyways, because if we're going to be struggling, we're going to be struggling <laughs> in the happiest place on Earth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's one thing that you really want? but you can't afford yet. (laughs) Um, A production of Ordinary Days with the Flip. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Please donate. Join our Patreon. Please join our Patreon. Please uh, keep your eyes posted for our sponsorship package going live in a couple of days. Hey. Um, By the time this goes up, it'll probably be up there anyway. Um, What I really want. Okay. There's, I'm going to go with the vein one first. What I really want right now more than anything else is microneedling because I have a lot of acne scars Mm. and microneedling go I don't know exactly what it does but it goes in and basically like helps even out your skin and like diminish those and I have a lot of acne scars so I would like to go in and get rid of them all (laughs) but it's like $300 a session and you have to go for like four or five sessions so we're gonna wait till I'm like really rich and famous you can get like those roller things, but I never trust yeah. those because like so much like dirt and stuff can like stay on. Even if you spray it with alcohol, it's like impossible to actually clean it. 
Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I, I would much, trust it. Yeah, I would rather let a professional who like understands how it all works look at my skin and go, oh no, and then deal with it. You know? <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Do oh, I you have anxiety, right don't you? I can tell because of all these acne scars. <laughs> I mean, I wish I had the money for my own apartment, but I don't. So yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm going to be living in a house with three other girls that I've never met before. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that'll be fun. That'll be yeah. a whole new experience. I'd also like a car that doesn't like break down every two months. That'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I would like somebody else to pay for my car insurance. Mm. That would be nice. Yeah. That'd probably be really nice. Yeah, I don't really know. I'd love to be able to travel too. Yeah. I'd love to be able to just live my life and not have to worry about money. Exactly. I want to be comfortable. That's why when my family was like, you're not going to be famous in theater. And I'm like, I don't want to be famous. I just want to pay the bills and be yeah. happy, you know? Yeah. It, on that topic, it's really, really funny. Growing up, I was always like, I want to be famous, period. I'm going to be famous because I'm a Leo. I was like, <laughs> I am going to be the biggest star. There was a period of time where I was convinced I was going to be Hannah Montana. So I came up with an alter ego. Yeah. I think we all did. Yeah. Um, but I took it to the extreme. Like I wrote songs and some were written by me and some were written by my alter ego. Um, like I went far with this. And in like grade one, when I was asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, I said the name of this alter <laughs> ego. <laughs> Anyway, um, like I was convinced I was going to be famous by the time I was 12. And then when I was 12, I was like, that's okay. I can't wait till I was, I'm 16. And then when I was 16, I was like, honestly, I just want to be able to afford an apartment. And now I'm 21 going, I have an apartment. Now I'll be famous. Thanks. Now I'll be famous. <laughs> honestly? Yeah. Just want to be comfortable. Yeah. Another good question. What's your favorite piece of clothing you own? Oh boy. There's so many. Yeah. I think, again, it like depends on the day. Yeah. What's well, just I some have, of your favorite articles of clothing? I have this pair of um, overalls that they're short overalls, like they're shorts. And I think they were my mom's first. And I borrowed them when I did a production of Mamma Mia when I was 14. And she said, ah, keep them. They're too big for me now, but I still wear them all the time. <laughs> because I love them. Um, uh, what else? I really, really love my queen sweater. I have this like oversized queen sweater that I wear. If I'm not like wearing regular clothes, I'm usually wearing that sweater and like Kermit the Frog pajama pants. Um, why? As you I should. Don't, I don't know why. Uh, I, I have too many pieces of clothing. Same. <laughs> I wear so this turtleneck a lot. It, it goes you with do. everything. It goes. It looks good everything. though. Thanks. I got this at I think Value Village for like five dollars. I thrift basically everything I own, so that's the way to do it. Because if I don't like it, no harm done. It's not like you bought it brand new. Exactly, and you can always thrift it again. Um, I have a, a couple. I mean, this dress is new, but it's like a a pretty wrap dress and it goes like mid uh shin um i really mid calf shin who knows um i love that length of skirts dresses i i just love that length i love vintage um i have two different uh styles i either go like cottage core like i'm a fairy in the woods or i go like full on don't talk to me e girl like, I, I will step on you. Um, another, there's a dress that you can kind of see for those who are watching, but it, you can also see my wig there. But there's a pink true vintage dress that I thrifted for $7. It is one of a kind. Nobody has the same type of, nobody else has that dress. And it fits me perfectly. I don't know how I stumbled upon it. And I literally was just like, I need this dress. It's perfect. It is perfect. True vintage, handmade. I love it. I love it. 
I don't, oh, I have a pair of jeans that I literally will wear every day if somebody lets me because they're like perfect fit. And then I can wear them with like a big shirt and I can be like, I'm a little boy, um, <laughs> which I really like doing that sometimes. Um, if you ever want to leave us an audio clip, feel free to. We would love to answer any questions you have or talk to you or share advice because we might only be young people but for young people we have a lot of life experience between the two of us so you know consider us like your crazy wine drinking aunts i have made the conscious decision that to my nephew i will be not only the wine aunt but i will also be the gay aunt because none of my other siblings are part of the lgbtq community it's just me so it would be a disservice to yeah. not be both the wine aunt and the gay aunt. Yeah, exactly. And why not combine things? Why not uh, be multi-talented? Uh, I think, yeah, I think my biggest disappointment as the eldest sibling is that all of my siblings are either have already told me they're never going to have children or are currently 15 years old. And should not, you know? Ooh, uh, are you a Harry Potter fan? Uh, kind of. I watched the first five movies. Man, my question was going to be, what's your favorite Harry Potter film? Um, Goblet of Fire, the, the Triwizard Cup one. Really? Yeah, that one's my favorite. I don't hear that one very often. Interesting. Mine is yeah. uh, the fifth one, Order of the Phoenix. Yeah, we, last year, after oh, rehearsal yeah. on Saturdays, and we watch it, and then we just, it, it stopped happening, and then we could never finish it, because... Pans already happened. Panda Express. What is a piece of entertainment you wish you could erase from your mind so you could experience it for the first time again? Oh, anything? Anything. Uh, I'd have to go back in time, but probably Cynthia Revo in the color purple. <gasps> oh. I was very lucky and I got to see that after she won the to after she won the tony that was like the energy in that room was you can't duplicate it but to go back and like experience that again that would be wild um so this is again something i have not experienced i've just seen like heard an audio recording of it but i think it was patty lapone um I was mean, yep doing a show she and realized see. somebody was filming and she stopped the yeah. whole show to scream at them and I just wish I could have been in the audience for that because I'd be like Patty I love that story so much because it turns out the person she was yelling at was from the press and had been given permission to be photographed <laughs> wait I didn't know that yeah yeah I just wish I could have been in the audience for that yeah that, I used to listen to that clip all the time. I was like, I want to be this powerful. That you can literally someone. be in the middle of like a song and just be like, stop. Who and do everybody's you think like, you are? I, I cannot do a Patty LuPone impression. No, I can't. I could do a, a decent Sutton Foster impression, but I would need to sing for it. Because it's um, Gimme Gimme from Thoroughly Modernly Millie, the Romeo and Juliet me line. Yeah. I could do an amazing impression of her for that. Because the way she sings it is so distinct. Oh, yeah. I used to be able to do a pretty good uh, Stephanie J. Block, but I haven't done it. Stephanie J. Block, I swear to God, everything I wish to be and more. Yeah. Like, I love her. whenever somebody's like, who do you think you sound like when you sing? I go, Stephanie J. Block. And they go, what? And I go, trust me. And then, so I use people to do an impression of her. I can't anymore because I haven't done it in so long. But I adore her. When they cast her as Cher in the Cher show, I had a breakdown. Because I don't know if you know this, but I am a massive Cher fan. So it's like your two loves just combining yeah like Cher is the only reason I had ever agreed to ever want to go to Vegas was to see Cher Cher I don't believe she's performing in Vegas anymore 
So there's that. I will never go to Vegas now. It's kind of a funny one. What are you really good at, but kind of embarrassed that you're good at? Mine is being able to do like the uwu girl impression. Um, I will not do it. I just, I hate that I can do it so well. That's funny. I don't even play video games that often. I play Among Us. Yeah. That's it. I don't play any other video games because none of them are fun to me and I like the tasks in Among Us except for like yeah. the circle ones where you have to stop the spinning circles because I always fuck up the third one <laughs> and it makes me so mad I'm like especially when I'm because I'll stream playing it sometimes and I'll be like drinking as I stream and I'll be getting tipsy and then it gets harder <laughs> to like stop them at the right time and I just I hate it I have only played Among Us a handful of times I do not know that task I hate that task and I always end up getting it. That's funny. If you go to um, my Twitch channel, you can likely see me playing it with a group of friends in our Discord server. And just every single time I see I have that task, I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Do you have something you're embarrassed that you're really doing? Right, I was literally about to ask, what's the question again? <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I feel like, here's the thing is I often, forget that I'm good at things so people will be like what do you do and I go absolutely nothing um, I live I live I live I don't know I think the first thing that's coming to mind right now is predicting the end of something within the first five minutes I'm really really good at correctly predicting the end of movies and tv shows like within like five minutes of them starting and usually if I'm wrong I don't like what they did <laughs> Like I was watching A Simple Favor for the first time a couple of weeks ago and my boyfriend read the ending before I got to the ending and was holding it over my head. And then when we got to the ending, I was so upset because I was like, that's the worst possible thing that could have happened. And you knew about it and you knew what my prediction was. And you didn't tell me. So don't watch a movie with me is basically where I'm going with this. I don't like movies, so. Well, there you go. Then it'll never happen. <laughs> Uh, here's a, another good one. In your group of friends, what role do you play? I have no idea. How about we answer this for each other? Yeah. Um, so you in our friend group are really good at like, you know how there's that character in movies that's like, um, oh, I can't make this reference because it's we're, we're writing um like can really seem like like can have their shit together enough to like do great uh, things and like yeah, work yeah. for a really cool band and like do really awesome things but like you're just everywhere your brain is everywhere yep <laughs> yep that's true I do not yep. have a single train of thought I have 12 yeah I'm trying to think of something that isn't the love you make that I could well if it's season one I probably could Maybe Henry. Maybe Henry. You give me Henry from the Love You Make vibes. You're like, I have a psychology degree. I, I'm not a doctor. I like I I know my shit, but I'm everywhere. I'm hey, everywhere. Watch the Love You Make on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I play Hazel Keel. I play the person awkwardly laughing in the background and then quickly making edits. Who are you? I feel like you are very much like the the first thing that came to mind, and I don't know why this wording came to mind. The first thing that came to mind was supportive gremlin. <laughs> because like, you know, if somebody's like, oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Gremlin is the word you chose. To That's, what came to mind. That's what came to mind. Because like if somebody needs help or somebody's like feeling down, you always hop in and they're like, oh my friend, I'm here for you. You need anything? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But you're also the one who's like, it's TikTok Tuesday. Here's 56 <laughs> TikToks, and then you disappear, and you're like, and I'm like over here going, hold on, I need context. What's happening? <laughs> the one who like, somebody will be like, man, I miss my friends, and you're like, getting in my car now. Be there in five. And I guess Gremlin obviously isn't the right word, but what came to mind? I guess the supportive clown works more. Because everything you do is like in a supportive tone, but it's usually very like silly. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. If you had to change your name, what would you change it to? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. You go first. I feel like. So, ha- ironically enough, I have recently started going by a new name. Um, <laughs> my birth name is Rebecca, and I never really liked that name. For me, I would always say that Becca is my actual name and Rebecca is my professional name. But recently, even Becca just hasn't been feeling right. And so now I'm just going by B. And I like it. So that's, I guess. But if I had to change it to something that wasn't even like that, um, hmm. Marilyn or Adelaide? Ooh, yeah. I really love those like older vintage sounding names. Yeah. I love old names. I love them so much. Revive old names. I feel like I'm in a similar boat. I would want something that's a little bit like older. The, the problem with my name, while I think it's amazing and beautiful and I do love my name, the problem is it's obscure enough that people still sometimes struggle to pronounce it. So I feel like I would want something that was a little bit easier to pronounce at first glance but not like overly used you know when I was young I always wanted to be Audrey because of Audrey Hepburn Mm. we'll go with Audrey I guess because that's that's one that stuck around in my life I do love Audrey Hepburn all right we're gonna do one more uh question oh this is a good one good one to end off on what lifestyle change have you been meaning to make for a while, but you haven't done it yet? I, okay, I think I do actually have an answer. I wanted to take up a bunch more hobbies and stuff. I wanted to be more, because so much of my time I just spend like staring at my computer going, I can't write, I can't think. So like I tried to take it's up- me so trying time. to work on the, the interactive recently. I have like two lines written because I literally am just like- But like I tried to take up sewing and I just like, I sewed or tried sewing for like an hour and then was like, oh, I got to do something. And then just haven't gone back to it. Or like I had these big plans to like paint something or like build a shelf or something and put it up on this blank wall we have over there. And I have yet to do that. I guess just like be more craftsy and hob, hob, hobby-esque. Like I'm a DIY so- YouTuber. Yeah. I've always wanted to be that person, but I'm so focused on work right now that I just like can't even fathom like taking two seconds off (laughs) to do something else I've been meaning I said this like earlier in the podcast but we're wanting to get back into weightlifting um but I just one I don't have the money to afford like going to a gym two I can't buy like free weights to use at home because again broke um I'm burping again right keep it in keep the struggle yeah um I I'm not in school so I'm not going to be dancing as much anymore and I just like want to at least stay like decently fit but the thing is I hate running yeah I hate running but like even going for walks I'm not the biggest fan of Mm -hmm. I feel like if I had like a dog or something I would go for walks more because I'd be like I'm gonna walk my dog but like I just I I get bored I get bored so easily so I don't know I'd like to get back into weightlifting because if I'm at the gym then like I know I'm there to work out Mm -hmm. so I'm not going to be like tempted to just like stop and like look at my phone yeah for sure maybe I should just go to the mall and like walk laps around the mall get my steps in that way not buy anything just look at shit I mean yeah that would be good too all right I think that is all the questions we're gonna do yeah that was a weird voice crack that just happened yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> who well, pulls us off dang how it do we, how do we do this well thanks so much for listening uh moving forward we're going to be talking a lot about pop culture and the medias and the mediums that have influenced us so thanks for listening slash watching if you are watching if you are hey what's up we look nice don't we um future of me please cut that uh, no, keep it in. Keep it in. If you get to choose to keep my burps in, I get to choose that that stays in. If you want to keep up to date with uh, posting, get behind the scenes stuff, bloopers, sneak peeks, 
You can follow us on Instagram at We're Trying Pod and get updates there. We don't have any other social media for the podcast, so uh, follow okay. us on Instagram. Yeah. Um, you can follow me personally on Instagram at Becca Postma or at Lavender underscore system underscore um, or on TikTok, the Lavender system. And you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Miss Aurora Rose. And if you want to leave us questions or leave us, I don't know, kind compliments like, hey, you look nice today or or like, hey, there was a piece of food in your teeth in the video last week, uh, I will put a link to uh, leave us messages through Anchor in our bio on the Instagram account. Hope you have a great day and uh, keep trying. We'll try again next week. (laughs) We'll try again next week. All right. Goodbye, friends. Cool. Outro music. Hey. Hey.